Okay, folks, it's absolutely gross to do this here, but my husband went out and got me answer pregnancy test with this extra answer lab strip pregnancy test, which is supposed to be um, from your missed period day on, as accurate as the doctor's office urine test. I was going to use the other one because I have a positive from a previous pregnancy that I was just going to totally joke my husband out with. But since that's a good one five days before, and if I'm feeling a baby kicking, then that would be way underdue. So I could really use this one without any problems whatsoever. I'll save that little jokesy for another time. And, when he, for he's when it, and for when he's in a little bit of a better mood than he is tonight. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this, and honestly, I'm going to wash this curtain after I'm done because I'm going to lay it out. I dip it in there for uh, 10 seconds, and my pee is in that blue cup there. I lay it flat, and I find out if I'm psychotic. No, just kidding. Phantom kicks, because I'm not psychotic, because I don't want to be pregnant, and I know I'm not. Or if these kicks are just every day, just really, really, really good jokes on my behalf but honestly since I don't want to be pregnant it's pretty easy to rule out any disappointment there but if I was still trying to conceive or if you know somebody out there is trying this could totally screw them up and I apologize in advance for anybody who gets hurt by these phantom kicks because they really are some crazy stuff okay Let's see if I could tripod this on my knee here a little I just keep thinking, how funny would it be if it, but it really, it really wouldn't be funny. My twins are just like loco right now. They're four, so everything should be a lot better, but I don't know. They're just like louder than ever, crazier than ever, and like my, my, my big girl is just like totally like driving them nuts. So it's a lot of stress between me and the hub. So right now I couldn't not want to be pregnant more. And I know I'm not, but let me just do this. And I've been having a lot of kicks. A lot of those fake kicks. Okay, okay. Alright, now we gotta lay it flat. Let me see if I can find something more flat than this here. Okay, how about an unused Christmas toy? As most are. Okay, Monster High, there we go. Must have greed a monster kit. Never used. Alright, so I'm waiting here to see the results. Da 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 da. Now, if you're 18 to 20 weeks long feeling these kind of kicks, actually, they can feel like 22, 24 week old kicks at times, you would have some bright second line showing up and honestly it's taking a little long for the control line to show up it's like move it already okay there it goes but you'd have a second line showing up that would be pretty darn dark it would be darker likely than the control line not for all but for many I know I did have that how kooky funny would that be if I was pregnant but I am honestly feeling the ovulation pains you know, the last couple of days, so I know that I'm not. It's just bizarre because when you feel such lively energy going on in your stomach, very hard to believe that that is fake. That's why I'm just here to try to prove a point. I said if I was trying, this would be really hard on me. Thankfully, I'm not, so I'm glad that it's not, but I still wonder, what the heck? Those fantasy... Um, phantom kicks are caused by I really do not know but so I will come back and show you the full result when the time has elapsed okay my friends so the time has elapsed it's been five minutes and there is not, not a trace of a positive result which honestly I hate to burst anybody's bubble that is trying but you know what, in the back of my brain, the way it's been lately, the way I've been feeling it, I kind of really thought, oh my god, I think that possibly could be me. I didn't know I was pregnant. And, oh my god, I'm five and a half months along or something. Because it's just so convincing. But, as we can see by the test, I am definitely not pregnant. 
and I've never been one to have one of those freakish negative pregnancy tests. I always get a, a pregnant answer, so this is definitely a no-go, and I am happy about it, even though all those years of trying to conceive made me sad to see one line. So it's kind of fun to just see two lines, but at the same time, mm, now's not a good time. <laughs> so, honestly, this is, you know, a relief, but it also is just a show. So you don't have to spend your money, because my husband paid eight bucks or whatever for this test, and actually the other one's more valuable, but I, like I said, I don't want to waste a good one when I pretty much knew if I was that pregnant to feel all those kicks, then... I didn't have to use the good one to do that, so I'll just save that for a rainy day in case I miss a period or something, or if I'm just curious and just want to P.O.A.S. P on a stick for funsies. But, nope. Not pregnant. Phantom kicks it is. Phantom kicks. Alright, so, we did the test, and we know that it is negatory. Okay, so... There is no test in the world that wouldn't show up by now, unless I was at point point oh 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 percent that wouldn't show up by now, and I am not one of those. I do show up, and I show up pretty early. So, well, especially if it's a duo, I can imagine another one. Um, but I'm pretty darn convinced that it's not that. Now, will things start to subside? Highly doubtful, because I don't think it's in my head. I just think something weird is going on down there, and some women say they can feel it under their ribs, they can feel it in other places in the abdomen. I happen to feel it right down where you would feel those kicks in the beginning, you know, for a while, and that's what really was doing it for me. It wasn't moving around like a, a like a 38 week old fetus, you know, with limbs and stuff moving from like you know this side to this side to down there, up there. So. <laughs> Just a little bit more to add to my curiosity about things, so I had to take the test. So I'm glad I did, and um, you know I want, I urge you if you're experiencing the same thing, you can be that one in a million, and you know I'm not going to tell you to just dismiss it. Um, definitely, you know, don't freak out about it, especially if there's no pain associated with it and other symptoms of any kind of illness, um, because it is more common than we hear about. I've never heard of it before, but when you do a Google search, you can see how common it is among women and who have had children before, so they know what it feels like. Um, so I would urge you to take a test for sure. Um, repeat it if necessary, if you wish. Um, you know, by that time it should come up positive. If you're still in doubt or have had previous experience uh, with that oddity of having negative pregnancy tests and being pregnant, Go see your doctor, have a beta test done, which is a blood test, and that would tell for sure. They could also do a pelvic, make sure everything's on the up and up, ultrasound if necessary, just ease your mind in every which way, and I'm sure your doctor would know, you know, and, and has heard of this before, your OBGYN has heard of this before, I'm sure. I would go myself, but right now my doctor, and I refuse to see somebody else, um, isn't covered by the new plan. My husband got laid off, so we're in Obamacare, so that sucks, um, but I will not go anywhere else, so I can't just go to him for anything. I have to go when I really need to go every six months. So, that being said, I'm glad that I don't have anything to really freak out about, but it is freaky feeling, and it is very convincing, and so I, I, my heart breaks for anybody who's trying to get pregnant and who really wants a baby who's feeling that, because I know that would devastate me because it feels so real, but... To the flip side, for those of us who aren't trying, you know, it's it's a bit of a relief, but it's also still just one of those phenomena that I just may never have the answers to, my friends. So, just that being said, phantom kicks are real. They are experienced by more women than you know, and, um, you know, I hope that you got some education out of this uh, little broadcast of mine and my own experience because I like to share with the world. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And thank you for taking time out with me, Shelly. It's impossible. Where anything is possible if you put your mind, your body, and your soul into it. Take care.